this handbag is selling out so fast at the coach store right now. I just had to do handbag review as quickly as I can so you know about it. Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I am shopping at Coach and I want to talk about the tabby shoulder bag with quilting. That is all the rage right now. But before I get started, if you like the content on this channel, I appreciate it very much if you give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for considering and on with the video. So I was heading to the coach store, but I was thinking, oh, I'll just have a look. But immediately this bag just caught my attention. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And that is the tabby shoulder bag with quilting. It's super soft and very squishable. It's a gorgeous handbag. Currently, it's like my latest obsession. There are some similarities of this classic handbag with the Chanel classic flap, but with that said, it doesn't have the same price tag. So I want to highlight this bag for you today. There are several different sizes available, but some of the handbags with the black leather and the gold hardware is selling out super fast. So let's go over the major pros and cons related to this handbag, just so you can make an informed decision and see if this is a handbag you want to add to your collection. Starting off with the pros, I would say this handbag is super versatile. This is the smaller version out of all the different ones here. And even with the smaller version, I think it's a good size bag. You can use it as a wristlet. This is the larger version, the 20 size. It's priced at $480. And you can see there is a beautiful chain that is intertwined with the leather that easily can go from a shoulder to a crossbody. There is a limited color selection, but I must say this black has won my heart. It's such a beautiful handbag. Styling wise, I think it's a very classic bag, but like a little edge to it. Very elegant and very luxuriously soft handbag made out of Napa leather. Look at how squishy it is. Functionality wise, I like how it has a little bit of organization, has several sizes, so hopefully we'll find something that fits your needs. You can see there is a center zipper compartment for items that require a little bit more security and then also another flap compartment. This is the closure you can see here. I must say this size is actually a not too big, not too small size out of all the sizes available, which is the one that's actually selling out the quickest. You can see there is a slip pocket in the back for like receipts or items that you use a little bit more frequently. Very luxurious feel with the Napa leather ultra soft the color is more muted in real life i find compared to the bright and glowy colors you see on the website itself i hope these videos are helpful for you especially for those of you who don't have access to a coach boutique store near you so i hope these videos give you a nice in-person view so here is the black version i want to show you the zipper closure and the chain that runs through it so you can't take off the strap but like it does like work really well with the bag. There's the hardware with the gold hardware. There is another one that has the black hardware available, but I am a little bit worried about how the black hardware will wear with time. So this is the larger version, as you can see here, right beside the smaller version. So the 33 versus the 26, if you wanna see a size comparison. So it's not all bells and whistles with this handbags. I do wanna be brutally honest with you guys. There are some cons you should be aware of. First of all, I'm a little bit concerned about its wear over time and its durability. It is Napa leather that's super soft, but I don't know how long it'll last with time. The second thing is the capacity. Because it is more of a pillowy quality, it does not pack as much as it appears on the outside. Now, there are a couple of reviews or more than a couple online about things you should watch out for for handbag lovers who actually purchased this and had some not so good experiences. So these might be one offs, but I want to share it with you. So number one is there is a known hardware defect. A lot of people mention like, for example, the gunmetal coating reveals the silver steel part really quickly and the hardware tarnishes easily. So watch out for that. Next, the edge of the inner lining peels off for some people, probably within like the six month range. And some of the stitching does pull away. So watch out for that when you're examining and checking out your bag for the first time. 
Now this one you can see it's a little different. The leather on the C buckle is not like a hardware, it's like coated with leather. And it does seem to rub off. So if given the choice, I probably won't go for the one with the leather encoding the C logo on it, even though it does look really nice. The matte finish on the C emblem and the magnetic closure for some of the handbags seems to chip off after less than a month use. I don't know if this is like an ongoing quality issue for Coach. I would watch out for that snap closure for scuffing on it. I do find that you have to be very specific with the snap closure to make sure it closed properly. You may have to maneuver it around a little bit. For some of the leather colors, people mention about it fading. I don't know if how they've been using it but there are numerous complaints about the class in particular coming undone and like everything in your handbag just falls on the ground which i think is not great because like you will potentially lose the handbag or like you even lose your belongings which is the whole purpose of having a handbag to carry your belonging in a secure way so not to mention potentially it could be a bit embarrassing in public one-off defects I'm not really sure, but I would love to hear from you guys if you have experience with this handbag. Are these things that you are aware of having problems with when you purchased it? These quality and durability issues doesn't seem to align with the brand's reputation or the price point, so I'm a little bit worried about it. But with all that said, a lot of times reviews are more kind of the extremes. There might be like handbag lovers who have perfectly great experiences with the coach pillow tabby with the quilting so that's why i'm hoping you can comment below if you have some experiences with this just to see if this is like a fair assessment overall i still think it's a really cute handbag i think it exudes a very luxurious and classy look Right now, there are no sales on the handbags right now, but there might be some coming up. So I would say maybe watch out and figure out what size and color you're looking for. Here on the website, you can see the range of quilt tabbies available. And I've shown you all the different sizes that are on the website so you can compare, including the 20 size, the 26, as well as the 33 size. Out of all the sizes, I believe the most popular one's probably the Coach Shoulder Tabby 26. But the most affordable one is definitely the smallest one, as you can see here, priced at $360. I think this kind of chalk color with the brass hardware looks just so yummy. You can see that there's compartments built in already, but can't fit that much in the smaller size. I think it's meant for like if you're going to like a special occasion where you just need like your phone, a chapstick, and maybe a hand sanitizer. But I like the option that can use it as a wristlet. This is the 20 size, priced at $480. This one has a chain strap that kind of intertwines into the handbag. This one I think is really cute. The chain strap is 21 and a half inch drop for shoulder or crossbody wear. The size is seven and three quarter inch in length, four and a quarter inch in height, and two and three quarter inch in width. And you can see there's the compartments built in and also the extra flap in the front. I still find this a bit on the smaller side, but I think that for some people who are a bit more petite or prefer mini bags, I think this is a great option to consider. This is part of like the new spring 2024 presentation. It is a limited edition for this chalk color. It's from like the archival 1970s coach design, but like such a classic design, don't you think? The 26 size, like I mentioned, is the most popular and it's practically sold out. Like this one is sold out right here. The size is 10 and a quarter inch in length, five and a half inch in height, and three and a quarter inch in width. It has like the beautiful signature grass hardware with the black. Doesn't this look really elegant? I feel like it could be something you can use for a number of years, just depending on the durability of 
apparently with the soft Napa leather, it might not wear as well over time. So time will tell. But I love how the strap can easily go from crossbody and double up into a shorter strap, like something a bit dressier. The largest size is the 33 size and is priced at $725. Of course, the larger size might not be for everybody. The dimensions for the larger size is 13 inch in length, 7 inch in height, and 4 inches in width. And like I mentioned before, some people are having issues with some of the gunmetal hardware about how it scratches easily and shows like the metal part underneath. So if I have a choice, I probably won't go for like a gunmetal hardware probably go with gold hardware and nothing coated with like the leather on the emblem c so that is my quick review of the latest coach tabby shoulder bag with quilting showing you all the different sizes how it looks like in store in person versus online so what do you think about this handbag is it a yay or a nay for you do you think that coach hit it out of the park for this version that's just been released revamped in 2024 or do you think it is a hard pass i would love to hear from you like is this an overhyped bag right now that is sold out everywhere or instant classic or maybe it is just a temporary trendy bag that's just gonna go away with time if you have a choice which size would you go for and also which color do you think is your favorite do you prefer the chalk or the very timeless black color well that's it for now thank you so much for joining me on this mommy review and i look forward to seeing you next time take care and stay safe everyone bye for now